do. Greetings. Please don't hit me. I have invaluable help to offer you. I used to be a spy in Caesar's service, but he decided I was surplus to requirements. He fired me. Imagine me, Rome's finest secret agent, sacked. I intend to exact revenge by divulging the Empire's secrets. There was a frightening battle here. Your friends fought valiantly, but Caesar and his troops got the upper hand. There are still a lot of Roman helmets lying around. Collect these Roman helmets and find me inside the village, near the huge granite block. OK, then. I will help you. Your friends need you. You'll have to hurry. up the path for you. Use this small platform to cross the fence. Don't forget to push the large granite block. It'll help you reach the platform. There's not a moment to lose. Caesar and his men have shackled all your fellow villagers and they sit off like the wind. From what I understood, there were Roman galleys waiting near here to transport them. Actually, if you want to push this huge granite block against the fence, approach it. Then move forward, holding the action button down. If you catch sight of me again, do feel free to come and say hello. I might have some valuable tidbit of info to give you.
over here. I've got something very important to show you. Look. Roman generals have been hiding gold laurels in all their conquered provinces. It's a direct order from Caesar. The emperor in person has been showing them where to hide the gold laurels. I think it's to heighten the impression that he is everywhere in his empire. There are a large number of gold laurels scattered around the whole empire. Some of them are stashed in gall, all in hidey holes round here. You must forage well and find all the gold laurels hidden in each province. If you find them, you will be handsomely rewarded. Don't rest on your own laurels. Make sure you forage everywhere. And trust me, you won't be sorry. This piece of wood is actually an extinguished torch. It is extremely handy. Use it right and you can blow up barrels of gunpowder. Asterix, only you can take it. Keep it until you find a fire to light it. Be careful, it has a tendency to go out. Be a bright spark. If you light a fire here and light a fire there as you go around, it'll be easier to ignite again if it ever goes out. either. But where could he be hiding? Obelix, something terrible has happened at the village. All our friends have disappeared and our homes are burning. Ooh, what are you talking about? Eh? Romans, round here. Follow me.
I see you found your trusty companion. That's good news. Two heads will be better than one for freeing your friends. Several of them have been shipped away, locked up in different boats. You can just see them in the distance. From what I understood, one of them was sailing northwards. But as for the other one, I don't know. I also saw the troops escorting a cage with an old druid prisoner inside. So leave this beach and get searching. You should be able to catch them up easily. I've found dogmatics. Your dog can be a precious ally when Roman bashing. Press the special dogmatics button to send him biting Roman backsides. It'll make them drop their weapons. At the end of this path, there's a clearing. Several gourds of magic potion are hidden there including one near the wooden tower. Pick them up and you'll become super strong for a few seconds. Obelix can't drink the potion, but I think you know that already. to share with you. This device is a Maximus repeating cannon. To use it, all you have to do is approach it 
and press the action button. If Obelix is next to you, he will be able to shift the cannon sideways while you use it. Press the jump button to get down from the machine. This repeating cannon is jammed by a combat boat. Eliminate all the enemies patrolling the area and the boat will disappear. found the right track. Don't worry about Obelix. He is just waiting on the other side while you find a way of opening a bigger passage for him. I think it's somewhere over here.
The iron crates are really tough. Roman engineers have specially designed them to resist the harshest treatment. Only Obelix can destroy them. You, Asterix, you need to drink some magic potion before you smash them to smithereens. I have heard said that repeating cannonballs also work, but I've never had the good fortune to verify this. This column of light is a relay station. Move Asterix inside to take control of Obelix and vice versa. See what I've got in stock. Come back and see me any time you like. See you again. Fix. By two charges, I'm glad to see you. But where are all our village folk? Where is our chief? Vital statistics. What's happened here? All our houses are on fire. Now just calm down. Calm down. Let me out of this cage and I'll tell you the whole story. It was an everyday kind of day. 
I was just bringing a cauldron of magic potion to a simmer when the Romans arrived by complete surprise. They robbed me of the whole cauldron even before I could wiggle my beard. Oh, it was a tough fight. Then they divided us into separate cages. Caesar himself was here. He was delighted with himself. His plan had worked. He was standing there gloating over a large marble map of all the provinces of his empire. Oh, can you imagine all our friends scattered across the four corners of the Roman Empire? I can still hear him now. You and you, Greece. You two there, Normandy. And as for you, mm, Hispania. No, let's say Helvetia. When he had finished, he destroyed his great map. But we each managed to recover one piece. Here is the fragment I recovered. I believe that that is where Caesar exiled fully automatics and unhygienics. Asterix, Obelix, you have to rescue our two friends. They will give you the fragment of map they managed to recover. This fragment will reveal the location of other villagers. You must go and rescue them, too. But why did Caesar break his pretty map? I believe he tried to keep the locations of our exile a secret. Go quickly now, my friends. Time is of the essence. You must leave for the north, while I must return to our village and tidy things up a bit. <laughs>